Thank you for joining us at Optic Studio. My name is Aaron Glanfield, and today we are going to talk about how we can create a light wrap effect in After Effects for free. So to do this, we're going to start by creating a new composition. For today's purposes, we're going to call it Wrap. We're going to bring in the footage and scale it. Then we're going to mask our image as appropriate. And then we're going to key out the footage using key light. I use the screen mat to adjust the settings for a clean key. You want everything black that is not wanted in the footage. For example, the green screen or the blue screen. And then you want everything white that you want in the footage. Once that's done, we're going to switch back to final result view. Then to clean up the image around the edges, adjust the screen shrink grow effect until your liking. Then add your background. For today's purposes, we have a blue sky. So now that we have the background in, the footage really doesn't look like it belongs for a number of reasons. One is the lighting and the color correction, to name a few, but we're not going to get into all of that today. For today's purposes, we will add our light wrap to help the image feel like it belongs. So to do this, we're going to add an adjustment layer, then the glow effect to that adjustment layer. As you can see, because of the glow effect, the footage is completely blown out. To get the light wrap look, we're going to turn the threshold up and also increase the glow radius. You can also adjust the glow intensity, play around with it until you like what you see. Once this is done, you can change the backgrounds freely and see the light wrap effect work. And then you'll likely need to readjust some of the settings based on the background. So you're going to play back your footage and you're going to see that this works for the whole shot. So whenever I watch a tutorial, I want to understand why the parameters do what they do. The threshold, if you have it turned all the way down to zero, basically allows all the tones, the darker tones, the mid-tones, and the light tones to glow. So as we turn the threshold up, the darker tones no longer glow and the lighter tones are left behind. That's why we turn it all the way up to 90 or more percent in this situation because we only want the, the brightest tones to show, i.e. the light. And by increasing the glow radius, pretty self-explanatory, but basically you're just making the glow bigger. So we have a lot to learn here as well. So if you have any suggestions for things you would like to see in our tutorials on this channel, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. So that's it here at Optic Studio. Thank you for joining us. If you liked what you saw, please give us a like and a subscribe and we look forward to seeing you next time.